Crossovers are always exciting no matter where and when it is happening. It is especially cool when it happens between the most unexpected of two bodies. In the world of reality television, we love cooking shows and Rachel Ray has been our absolute best not just a chef but also a talk show host. Similarly, American Pickers, a show about searching and scavenging for antiques, arts and artifacts through a road trip all around the country is our all-time favorite. We just can't pick a favorite among the two, so imagine our surprise when we remembered that there has been almost a crossover event of American Pickers crossing the Rachel show. It just does not even seem right to picture American Pickers hosts, Mike Wolf and Frank Fritz, sharing the same screen with a celebrity chef and TV personality that is Rachel Ray. So it all happened in one of the episodes of her show, Rachel in 2012, when Ray invited the former best friends to have a look at a few of the old props taking up space in her show's productions. They had picked a few of these promising items to display to the pickers and asked them how much they could pay to get it off their hands. Ray has high hopes that they will fetch her a nifty prize, but all her expectations are slowly washed down the drain when Wolf and Fritz begin giving her the prize for everything. The crossover does not start over in a good note when Mike starts it off by offering her a mere 12 bucks for an empty old film, Real Canister. Ray is outraged at Mike's offer and even snatches a reel out of his hands after telling him how insulting that was. Ray's audience also boos and laughs at the offer. She then gives Fritz a chance. He has his eyes set on a shaker and although Ray claims that according to the listing in her hand that the shaker is from the 1960s, Fritz quickly debunks the claim. He says the shaker has made it look like it's from the 60s, but it has a seal on the inside which proves that it was brand new. He even goes as far as to a state that's something one can easily find in bed, bath, and beyond. However, Frank states that he also has eyes on a peacock lamp, which is another reproduction that just looks like it is from the 50s, but is not. But he can still find some value in it, especially if he can have another item on sale, the peacock wall decker behind him. Rachel briefs the history of the piece and claims it to be from the 60s and this time, Fritz and Wolf do confirm that it is indeed from the 60s. There is still one problem though, it was a two-set piece but one of them according to Ray, flew the coop. Any veteran fan of American Pickers knows that breaking a set means a huge loss in value. So Frank finally makes an offer and says he will pay Rachel Warren dollars for all the three items. Ray is flabbergasted as she jokes that they've been grossly overpaying for all of their things. Ray persuades Franks to further bump up his price to $105. Mike also makes a deal that he will pay her $20 for the reel if she signs it, and though she is disappointed, she makes a deal since it's better than just keeping the props eating dust there. Ray got a segment out of it and the guys got a few cool items. It was a win-win situation from our point of view.